Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you this scratch built plane that I built and what's special about this plane is that you can swap out the wings on it. So I have this 40 inch arm and wing that I use and then this old wing that I have from a scratch built DLG that I use that's 50 inches but you could use a 50 inch arm and wing and I recommend that. Um, versus this because this is hard to make and really flexible but it flies really well um, so I use arm and wing for this and then the fuselage is not a tapered fuselage as you might think but it's my own uh, tapered fuselage not a tubular fuselage so it's for pieces of 30 inch by 2 inch dollar tree foam tapered uh, as a straight line at the back and then tapered at a curve to accept a one by one uh, motor mount but you can make it to accept whatever you want it's covered in some red packing tape for strength and also some nice color um, how I hold down my wings in this plane is I don't do it the conventional way what I have is a tab in my wing and then a piece cut out from the fuselage uh, one of the beveled pieces like this which goes right into the slot where I cut it from so uh, once you get it aligned it'll align every time like that now how you can how you align it if it's not aligned at first is you can take a razor or knife and cut off of one side and then put a little bit of hot glue on the other side and then make a bead wait for it to cool down a bit until you can touch it and then smash it with your finger so it gets nice and flush with the bevel and then you just have to experiment with that until you get the right angle Electronics wise, I have um, 24 gram Blue Wonder, uh, which is a really small motor. Uh, you can get a bigger motor for more speed, but this um, actually has a lot of power for its size. A 20 amp ESC for my Blue Wonder. Again, if you use a different uh, motor, just make sure you get the right um, ESC for it. Inside, I have a 2200 uh, Turnigy. 3S battery and then uh, how that's held in is I have a piece of foam at the back from, to keep it from sliding back and then all these wires up front when it's all plugged in uh, they have to be all shoved in the front and that keeps this battery from moving anywhere and then uh, once I'm done pull out all the wires unplug it and then I can just pull out my battery so no velcro or anything uh, that works for me but you can do whatever you want also with the wing hold downs I use these skimpy rubber bands uh, versus the heavy duty ones for gas planes and I use barbecue skewers and if you use barbecue skewers since they're so thin make sure you glue them in well uh, so they don't move uh, with the tension of the rubber bands and that would not be good I have 9 gram servos all around. Uh, this plane only has elevator, no rudder right now, but uh, rudder would be very easy to install. Uh, orange receiver, uh, right in the wing bay, easily accessible so I can plug and unplug my wings. And then just the servo wire itself is long enough, so I don't even need an extension. I don't like using extensions, so. You could if you wanted to, but they're not necessary if you put receiver uh, right here. At the tail, I got my elevator, and that's held on. Um, to compensate for the taper, I had put a piece of foam between uh, the elevator and the end, so that gives it a pretty much zero degree angle. It just has to be close, not perfect. Um, you'll be trimming it out anyway somehow. And then vertical fin, I don't need any reinforcement other than just when you just cut a slit, stick it in there, and 
make sure you not only glue where the slit is, but where the uh, stabilizer touches the bottom of the fuselage. And then just make sure that's at a right angle and everything, and then you're good. Um, another thing to keep in mind if you're going to swap wings is you're going to have to remember if if you have any uh, different trimming to do um, to just like write it down. Um, I wrote it down on this wing. Three clicks up, two clicks right uh, when I go to this wing. And then just a reverse for my other wing. And also you want to check your CG because it's possible that your CG will be a little off um, for each wing you use. But uh, if it's just within the range it's supposed to be, then you should be pretty good. So um, that's my swappable wing plane. Thank you for watching.